Hey, True Seekers, welcome back. Zach here. A lot of people are asking me to make a video about the death of rapper Shoddy Low, who reportedly died in a car accident September 21st, 2016. In this video, I'm going to tell you why he died on the date he died and what his death has to do with two other rappers' deaths from earlier this year. Bankroll Fresh, also in Atlanta, and Fife Dog from A Tribe Called Quest. And with regards to the death of Shoddy Low and Fife Dog, I'm going to show you what their deaths have to do with the upcoming Super Bowl. If you're new to my channel, I expose how celebrities are ritually sacrificed by the numbers or they're all faking their deaths by the numbers, which is a possibility. You know, it'd be easy to disguise your death in a fiery wreck. But anyway, one of two things is, are happening. Either these celebrities are being ritually sacrificed and murder, or they're faking their deaths by the numbers, or a combination of both. So anyway, by the end of this video, you're going to understand what Murder by Numbers is. That's the name of a song written in 1983 by the band The Police, Sting. Listen to that song, Murder by Numbers, after you watch this video. This has been going on for a very long time. This is nothing new. This goes back to the beginning of this country and really older. It is the Freemasons who are running the record industry, who are running government, who are running entertainment. The Freemasons are the Zionist Jews. They're the ones who are doing this ritual death nastiness by the numbers. So let's make sure we understand that too. We've got to know the who, what, when, where, and why. So Shoddy Low, Carlos Walker, better known by his stage name, Shoddy Low was an American hip-hop recording artist from Atlanta, Georgia. He was born March 31st, 1976 in Georgia. He just died September 21st, 2016, also in Georgia. And at first they said his accident was a hit and run. We'll talk about what hit and run has to do with the day he died. From the day he died to the date of the upcoming Super Bowl, which we'll talk more about, remember, these sports championships, there's always ritual sacrifice for. See the work I did on last year's Super Bowl, the NBA Finals, the year prior. I'm showing how celebrities are being murdered by the numbers for these sports championships. You know, two shining examples from the NBA Finals. Well, there's Muhammad Ali. Let's give you three. Muhammad Ali died after game one. He became boxing champion in 64, the last year Cleveland had won a pro sports championship. Muhammad Ali and LeBron James summed to the same thing in Gematria, the number 42, number very special to the Freemasons and the Zionists. Muhammad Ali dropped dead after game one of the NBA Finals. Again, became boxing champion in 64, the word boxer equals 64, Miami Beach equals 64, where he became boxing champion. Three days after his death, Miami... Kimbo Slice dropped dead at age 42, 42, Miami fighter, Kimbo Slice, born in 74, Muhammad Ali dead at age 74, Muhammad equals 74, Masonic 74, Jewish 74. Anyhow, there was Muhammad Ali's death. There were a lot of deaths. I'm just telling you about three of them. You go back and watch my videos. I show you how many people dropped dead during the NBA Finals connected to it. But Muhammad Ali, right at the beginning of the NBA Finals, also... Right before Game 7, Anton Yelchin, the actor in the new Star Trek film, supposedly crushed to death by his own car in his driveway. How does that happen? Supposedly his car in neutral crushed him against his own gate. He was age 27, and he had 103 for his birth numerology, the number 103. Cleveland, later that day, in its 103rd game of the year, won Game 7 of the NBA Finals. LeBron scored 27 points. The number 103 is the 27th prime. Everything about the NBA Finals followed the Prophecy Revelation Code, which I talked about throughout the year. My prediction was 100% right. The Cavs would defeat the Warriors in a repeat of the NBA Finals. I made a video saying that in October of last year. See the work I did. Anyhow, Anton Yelchin, one of those deaths. Then exactly 27 days after the NBA Finals, Nate Thurman drops dead, who wore the number 42 in the NBA and played for the Warriors and the Cavs and was born in Akron, Ohio, just like LeBron James and Steph Curry, the stars opposing each other in this year's NBA Finals. Nate Thurmond is the father of LeBron James. Look at Nate Thurmond's face, look at his receding hairline, and tell me that's not LeBron James's father. Same tall build, same muscular build, 
Very clear that Nate Thurmond is the father of LeBron James. He was sacrificed 27 days after LeBron scored 27 to win Game 7. The New Testament in the Bible, New Testament equals 42. It begins with the 42 generations leading up to Jesus. There's 27 books in the New Testament. The first is Matthew. Matthew equals 27. The 27th book is Revelation. The 66th book, LeBron equals 66. First player to go to six straight finals since 66 like Bill Russell. Bill Russell's living up in Seattle. The Cavs became the first team to win a Game 7 on the road in the NBA Finals since 1978 when the Washington Bullets did it in Seattle. NBA Finals equals 78. Cleveland equals 78. Just trying to give you some knowledge before we get into this just in case you've never been here before. Another death that I should talk about with the NBA Finals is Prince. Prince died on the 112th day of the year. His death... I said why it was connected to the NBA Finals, the World Series, and the Super Bowl upcoming. Game 1, June 2nd of the NBA Finals was the same day they came out with the cause of death for Prince. Go back and watch my work on Prince the day he died, in case you're new here. And also watch the video I put out in February, the day Vanity died. I predicted that Prince would die soon by the numbers, and I called the exact number he died by. I said to watch for 67 when Prince dies. He died 67 days from Vanity. So if you're new here, what I'm showing you, it seems crazy because crazy people are doing this. But this is really what's going on in the world, and this is what people need to wake up to and understand so we can put an end to it. Because whether people are dying by the numbers or faking their death by the numbers, either way, it's sick and it needs to stop. This guy's name in simple English, Gematria, is Carlos Walker. From the day he died until the date of Super Bowl 51, upcoming in Houston, Texas, is a span of 138 days. If you add 138 to its reflection, 831, it sums to 969, which is related to the speed of Saturn, its orbit around the sun. Saturn's the keeper of time. This is a significant number, 138, one I don't talk about a lot. The name Shoddy Low in Gematria sums to 33 and 42. Freemasonry runs hip-hop. 33 is the number of Freemason obsession. 42, the number of the Freemasons, also a number stamped on black people throughout history. February, Black History Month, the only month that sums to 42. So many black superstars from acting to sports, 42 coded on them, such as Muhammad Ali, LeBron James. Shoddy Low also sums to 123, the big way, like conspiracy. Is his death a conspiracy? Possibly. Shoddy alone sums to 96, like Freemason. He's from Atlanta, the 33rd parallel, ATL they call it, ATL Gematria 33. Named after the city of Atlantis, the lost city, Gematria of 33. 33, relevant, rhyme and hip hop, rhyme and hip both equal 33. His date of birth, March 31st, 3 slash 31. It looks a lot like the number 331, March 31st. 331 is the 67th prime, the number related to blood sacrifice, the number I talked about when I said watch for Prince to die. He had a July 6th birthday, which can be written 6 slash 7. This year we got the major propaganda in the news, the death of Alton Sterling and Philando Castile on that day by the numbers, setting off the police shooting at the Black Lives Matter protest the very next day in Houston by the numbers. We'll be talking about, or Dallas, that was in Dallas. Anyway, blood sacrifice 67, connecting to his birth. The day he was born, a date with 119 numerology, like all seeing eyes, star of David, master plan. In the end of this video, I'm going to tell you about the Trans-Pacific Partnership, the New World Order trade deal, and what it has to do with these same numbers that the rappers are dying by, and the reason for that. It's because they're all signatures by the gang that's responsible. The day he died, September 21st, 2016, a date with 46 numerology, sacrifice equals 46, vanity equals 46, she died on the 46th day of the year, Prince would die a span of 67 days later, hit and run, sums to 46, they reported that his death was first a hit and run, then later they said it was just a single vehicle accident. From his birthday to the day he died is 174 days. Earlier this year, Bankroll Fresh was killed in front of the studio, which was the address number 174. We'll talk about Five Dog, a tribe called Quest, in the span from his birthday to his death in 174. 
New World Order equals 174. A Tribe Called Quest, No Limit Records, 174. There's a whole lot of 174 coding in hip-hop. Words such as replace equal 174. Are these people being replaced? Are they falling out of one position and replacing another position? You know, something like this could be going on. It could be part of the reason for the coding. This is just speculation. I'm not saying it necessarily what it means. I noticed the word black in English gematria also sums to 174. And here I am talking about black rappers all dying by this number. Black rappers, commercial artists working for this Freemason, New World Order, Zionist network. He died in Georgia. Georgia's the fourth state. Georgia wanted two states with the gematria of 44. 444 is the number for Masonic in English gematria. Remember, Eze, -E, he was diagnosed with AIDS 444 days after the album Lethal Injection came out by Ice Cube. 444 days. I haven't seen my video work on NWA and the death of Eze -E and the death of Dr. Dre's sons and more. You got to check that out. Whole lot more to this killing by the numbers. He was from Moultrie, having gematria of 113, the number of dishonesty. Mainstream equals 113. Dishonest equals 113. Baba Kama, 113, says it's okay for somebody who's Jewish to lie to somebody who isn't. So they said he died in a fiery crash. All the media use this terminology, fiery crash. Fiery crash has the same gematria as Freemasonry, Secret Society. Again, a lot of these hip-hop stars, celebrities, actors, athletes, they're connected. They're in Freemasonry. Fiery Crash, the big way, sums to 112, just like Houston. Also, this year is the 112th World Series. World Series in Gematria sums to 57. Prince died on the 112th day of the year because this year was a leap year. Typically, it's the 111th NBA Finals equals a 111. Go see all the work I did on Prince and the related deaths of Prince. Tupac's mom died on the real Machiavelli's birthday this year, who wrote The Prince. Prince from PM Dawn died during the time of the NBA Finals. Anyway, from the day of his death until Game 7 of the 112th World Series, if it goes there, is November 2nd, and I bet you it does this year. I bet you anything the 112th World Series goes to November 2nd, Game 7. Last year, the 111th World Series ended on 11-1. New York equals 111. I predicted in spring training the Mets would be in the World Series. Everything's done by the numbers once you see how these Masons do it. Everything on TV and the mainstream, that is. So anyway, 112th World Series from the day he died to Game 7 is 42 days. Number of the Freemasons, Shoddy Lowe has the Gematria of 42. The Big G and the Freemason Compass and Square, 42. Freemason, 42. February, 42. Again, Houston has Gematria of 112, and they're also hosting the Super Bowl this year. They also hosted the College Basketball Championship. From the day of his death until the date of the Super Bowl is 137 days later or a span of 138 days. 137 is interesting because that's the 33rd prime number. Again, Shoddy Low equals 33 as well. His name connects to the upcoming 112th World Series, the distance you know, from death to Game 7. Now the distance from his death to the start of Super Bowl 51. Super Bowl 51 is February 5th, 2017, a date with 44 numerology like, Jama or like Georgia. So again, 137, the 33rd prime, connecting to his name, connecting to secrecy, masonry. Full span of 138 days like his name, Carlos Walker. In the film Oblivion, it hints that the last Super Bowl ever played will be 2017. Oblivion equals 44, Georgia 44. This year, the Super Bowl is on a date with 44 numerology. The number four, kill. Car crash in Gematria also sums to 44. Dead with a car crash in Georgia. A fiery crash. There might be something to Interstate 285 that I haven't researched. I should look into when Day No came out. You know, Prince said, I would die for you with the number four in the letter U. Used the 21st letter, 421. He died on 421, April 21st. There's probably clues in his big song, Day No. Maybe Laffy Taffy too. I haven't done the research. That's why I always hope that you who watch these videos, you'll take the research and take it the step further. There's always things I don't cover. Sometimes I skip things on purpose, hoping people will apply the knowledge 
and then instantly find something that I left there for him, you know? Conspiracy sums to 51. Fulton County sums to 51. You know what else sums to 51? Houston Texans in Pythagorean Gematria, which I'll just show you. Here's a calculator you can use for this study. Riding the Beast. English reduction. Houston Texans. How did I spell the word wrong? Hold on. Houston. There we go. Houston Texans. 51. Just like Conspiracy. Spelling is crucial in Gematria. This year, Houston Texans hosting Super Bowl 51. Remember, Shoddy Lowe has that name connection to Conspiracy the Big Way. Shoddy Lowe, I think that's how he spells it. Yeah, it's 123. And Conspiracy the Big Way, 123. Think about how Area 51, the area of Conspiracy, the word federal also has Gematria 51 the Big Way, 33 the Small Way. So anyway, he died in Fulton County syncing up with Super Bowl 51 upcoming. Fulton also has Gematria of 88. Think about how hip-hop is abbreviated HH. That's the eighth letter, 88. In Back to the Future, the car always travels at 88 miles per hour because eight represents that infinite loop like time and cycles. What the Freemasons are doing are creating propaganda by the same numbers again and again in cycles and circles. So look at this. He died at age 40. He died at 2.20 in the morning. That's the 140th minute of the day. Show you some more Gematria tricks here. 40 sums to 84. 140. 140 sums to 84. Atlanta's on the 84th meridian. United States of America equals 84. The NFL, you know, America's game. Special number to the history of this nation. And him dying at that time, at age 40, you know, if he really died, this is what it is. Murder by numbers, like that song from 1983. The word death equals 38, the reflection of 83. United States alone also has that gematria 40. When you write out 40, it sums to United States of America. I didn't put up the part here about 140. Just so you know, when you guys read my blog, I do these posts fast. You know, I just have to get it in when I have the time. I don't usually proofread it. Sometimes there's things I skip. So there's always more to add, you know. I'm just giving you the tip of the iceberg. So earlier this year, March 4th, 2016, we had the killing of Bankroll Fresh. He died on a date with 43 numerology that can be written 4 slash 3, R-I-P equals 43. Rest in peace. He was dead in Atlanta, bankroll fresh. His real name was Trentivius White, had the same gematria as bankroll, probably how he got the nickname. He was connected to two chains. I noticed the way he spells chains. I'll just show you this. Two chains in gematria, the way he spells his rap name, has Gematria of 34. So does the word murder. This guy was connected to two chains and died by the numbers on March 4th. And he died, he died at age 38. The word death equals 38. Tupac Shakur died on a date with 38 numerology. Same with Notorious B.I.G. Same with many other rappers. 38, one of these numbers always connected to death. Prince equals 38. Chanhassen equals 38. Minnesota, 38. He died in his home in Chanhassen. Here's Tupac and Biggie right here. Tupac Shakur equals 139, dead on September 13th. Moses Malone died on that date this year. Tupac Shakur died 213 days after his last studio album was released, February 13th, the 44th day of the year. Moses Malone died at age 60 this year on the same day, September 13th, as Tupac Shakur. 213 days later, Kobe Bryant scored 60 points to finish his career. Moses Malone and Kobe both with Philly connections. Kobe finished his career against Utah. Moses Malone was drafted out of high school to the pros by Utah. Moses Malone dead at 60. Kobe scored 60 in his final game. 213, a number connected to killing black people all throughout history. Black History Month equals 213. It's also the Los Angeles area code. Same things again and again all throughout history.
This man was born on August 4th, 1987. Bankroll fresh. August 4th, 8-4. Atlanta, the 84th Meridian. Did we not just talk about this number? You see the parallels? And there's just so much more. Like right here, he died 153 days from his birthday. 153 is the number paired with 42, the number connected to the Freemasons that's stamped on black people throughout history. Why Jackie Robinson wore 42, the most hateful word for black people sums to 42. In the Bible, it's the 153 catch, miraculous fish, miraculous equals 42, fish 42, dead 153 days from his birthday. Look at this guy's post time, huh? 1053. But here it is, dead right outside the address 174. And look at what number they have stuck in the license plate for the shot. It's almost like it's purposeful. Which makes me wonder, I mean, there's just so much to these rituals. Are these people even really dying, or is it just a whole ritual by numbers so that these people can escape their celebrity identity and, you know, live a life maybe of seclusion or out of the spotlight? There's so many different things that could be going on here. What I'm trying to show you is it's all by the numbers. It's all ritualistic. It's all dishonest. Fife Dog died this year at age 45. Hip-hop equals 45. Show you what's up with his death. Rapper, Masonic, they have the same gematria. Masonic and Jewish gematria sums to 223. Fife Dog died on March 22nd, 22-3. He was from Brooklyn, New York, 223. The synagogue of Satan in gematria sums to 223. The name from the false Jews from the book of Revelation who are said to rule in the end times. Fife Dog dead March 22nd. There, were the, there was the bombing in Belgium that day. Melbeek Metro Station equaled 223. It was the first terrorist attack in Belgium in 223 weeks. Freemasons all over the world operating by the numbers, ritually sacrificing celebrities or having them fake their deaths, staging terrorist hoaxes, rigging elections, creating propaganda in the news every day. A tribe called Quest in Gematria sums to 174. This number connected to the death of rappers this year. Can dead at age 45, the hip-hop number. His name, Fife Dog, has Gematria 52. That is the number of prophecy. I point out that 52 also sums to devil because he died on the date connected to the synagogue of Satan. Satan, devil. Fife Dog, Fife the way it's spelled, has that Gematria 44 like kill. Five dogs, 79 like murder. They said he died from diabetes. Diabetes. Young, young age to die from diabetes. Diabetes has Gematria 38 like rapper, like death. Remember Tupac Shakur's final studio album that came out after his death, Machiavelli? Or he spelled it Machiavelli? The way he spelled it had the same Gematria as rapper, the same Gematria as Cross, the same Gematria as Jesus, the same Gematria of Muhammad. The final album was Tupac on the Cross, Machiavelli. This year his mother, her death announced on the real Machiavelli's birthday. What else I noticed about Fife Dog is his birthday, November 20th, 11 slash 20. It has that 112 sequence in it, like Houston. And he died 45 weeks before the Super Bowl, or 321 days. Look at this. 321 days like a countdown. The reflection of 1, 2, 3. Shoddy low equaled 1, 2, 3. Five dog dead 321 days before the Super Bowl. I've been pointing out how New York has a lot of parallels to this upcoming Super Bowl in Houston. I expect a New York team to be there, a tribe called Quest, a New York hip-hop group. He was born on a date with a life lesson number, or excuse me, he died on a date with a life lesson number of 34, the number connected to murder, connected to bankroll fresh, dead, you know, outside address 174. From his last birthday to his death was 123 days, the conspiracy number, or 17 weeks and four days, 174, 174. You know? I noticed some of their album release dates are significant. Q 
Q-tip, you know, the lead rapper for the group. His name in Jewish gematria sums to 239. That's a really special number to the Jewish people, the Kabbalists. This year, the flags, we're seeing all this stuff with the flag in professional sports. It's all part of the numbers. The flag was sewn at 239 Arch Street in Philadelphia. The flag's 239 years old. Its birthday is June 14th, 1777. This year, we're getting all this stuff with celebrity and saluting the flag. It's all divide and conquer by the numbers. But anyway, here's what else is interesting about Q-tip. The name Q-tip in simple English gematria sums to 62. Like Mason, like Jay-Z, like P. Diddy. There's so many rappers that their name sums to 62. And I noticed up here his birth name, Malik Isaac Taylor, also has that gematria of 62. You know? A lot of these people are born into their celebrity. They're connected through Freemasonry from birth through their parents. No Limit Records, supposedly Master P with $10,000 turned his, into the multi-million dollar record label. <laughs> I think Bout It, Bout It sums to 174 too if I remember right. Master P's famous saying, bout it, bout it. Master P has the same gematria as rapper. Master P, if you're out there, you better watch out. One of these days, it's going to be you. Let's see what bout it, bout it is. I think, I, I think it's the same as New World Order, if I remember right. Sometimes I forget. <laughs> it is. Bout it, bout it. No limit soldier. You know? You think Master P really came up with these slogans? No limit soldier, bout it, bout it? I don't think so. The people who run hip-hop are the Freemasons, the Zionist Jews, and mostly what they use the music for is to make people act out needlessly. I mean, so much of this commercial hip-hop music is all about gang-banging and violence and selling drugs. And, you know, it's all part of a thick mess that's been built by the Freemasons, the Invisible Architects of Society. I grew up in a poor black neighborhood. I know what it's like. There's no jobs around. There's nothing nice around. You can't go to the park. You know, you come from a community where there's low opportunity. Then you listen to this music that gets you all riled up and angry and you start doing crazy shit, you know? And then what happens? Next thing you know, you're arrested and you're part of the prison industrial complex. Think you got to carry around a gun all the time, no ID. You know, this movie is instigating people to make poor choices overwhelmingly. It's all part of a big nasty soup created by these people. You know, I'm thinking back, I remember when C. Murder, the br brother of Master P, Percy Miller, Miller's a name with 33 gematria, I remember when his brother got arrested, who had the rap name C. Murder, how he was the brunt of Jay Leno's jokes for like an ongoing month, you know? Jay Leno, what an asshole, making fun of C. Murder for being in prison. People who, you know, own these rappers, they don't care about them. They just use them as pawns on the chessboard to manipulate the rest of us. They treat us all like pawns on the chessboard. I wish the news was better. Until next time, Truth Seeker. Encore. Forgot something important, Truth Seeker. This year, big headlines about the Trans-Pacific Partnership, the New World Order trade deal. Look at the gematria of it. 119, like all seeing eye, like Star of David, like Master Plan. We talked about how Shoddy Low had that birth numerology of 119. Earlier this year, they signed their trade deal on the 174th Meridian, again, the New World Order number, in New Zealand that has that Freemason gematria. The New World Order is the network of Masons in high places. It was drafted on October 5th, a date that can be written 5 slash 10, looking a lot like 51 for conspiracy, or 10 slash 5, Zionism equals 105, Masonry equals 105. The signing came 123 days after its drafting, or 17 weeks and 4 days, and then on the 174th meridian. This example is to show you it's no coincidence where these numbers come from. They are important signatures of the gang ruling over us. Look at this headline from World Star Hip Hop. Now you know why it's 174K. Until next time.